Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And welcome to all who are here and all who are watching. We are pleased to have you join in our Eucharistic celebration. There are two collections for this weekend, our regular collection and debt reduction collection. Both can be placed in one of the three baskets around church. As always, we thank you for your continued support. This evening, please join me in welcoming our CYO teams, coaches, and families as they celebrate at this Mass the opening of their season. Their season. Thursday, November 18th, was the feast day of Blessed Grimwald. As we honor Blessed Grimwald this weekend, be aware there is a flyer. It looks like this. It's on two tables in the back and the table up here in the front. Learn about his connection to this parish. Pick up one, please. Our Thanksgiving Day Mass will be celebrated here at 9 a.m. Please bring a non-perishable food item to donate to our food pantry. Also, please be sure to register for our Advent mission that will take place on Sunday, December 5th from 1230 until 4.30 p.m. at our Mother of Sorrows. Seating is limited. As we prepare ourselves, let us turn our attention to the altar where the holy sacrifice of the Mass will be celebrated by Father Coffus, assisted by Deacon Joe Placius on this, the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe.
evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today as we come to celebrate this feast of Christ the King, we are reminded of the mercy, the infinite love that comes to us from our King, who is Jesus Christ. And so that we may celebrate the sacred mystery worthily, let us acknowledge the ways that we have not always served Christ the King, as we should. Let us call to mind our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate this encounter with our Lord, our God, and our King. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. ever-living God, whose will it is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, 
may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to be seated for the Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. The kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and rulers of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and his Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I'm not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. We all like to fit in. We all like to be accepted by others, right? It's nice. And that's important to fit in, to be accepted by others. It's a good feeling. Makes you feel like you belong. But as important as that is, What's even more important is living as God wants us to live. What's most important is knowing that God always loves us. God always accepts us. And that is why it's important for us to be connected to our parish, here at Holy Cross, our Mother of Sorrows, our sister parish. That's why our school here at Holy Cross is so important, because it teaches us how to love God, how to know God, and that in our school, in our faith formation program, and in CYO, we are accepted not by what we wear, how we act. We're accepted because we are all God's children. But we know there are times when we will not be accepted because of how we live 
and who we believe in, that we believe in Jesus Christ, and even Jesus in our gospel for this Mass on Christ the King was not accepted. Pilate is having this conversation with Jesus just before Jesus dies on the cross. And our Lord realizes that he's not being accepted. Pilate does not have that same faith that was in the disciples. And so, Jesus is not accepted by Pilate. Jesus is rejected because he is faithful to the mission, to the ministry, to the purpose that the Father has given him, to come and to share the gift of God's love in the world. All of us know this feeling, what it's like to be rejected. We all have an experience, a story, a painful experience in our lives of not being accepted because of who we are. It's then that we realize that we're not alone, but that it's here in the family of God, in our parish, here at Holy Cross, that we experience from the love of others and the presence of Almighty God that true acceptance, that gift of God's presence in us. Today's a very special day because we celebrate Christ the King. Christ the King, the one who's come to share his kingdom with us. And it's not a kingdom of gold crowns and fancy palaces or royal courts or elaborate robes. It's a kingdom of, of love, of mercy, of forgiveness. It's a kingdom dedicated to each and every one of those, each one of us, that wants to live as Jesus has asked us to live. As we celebrate this beautiful feast day of Christ the King, we also celebrate one of our patron saints, within our parish, Blessed Grimwald of Santa Maria. Blessed Grimwald was born in the year 1883, and he died in the year 1902. He lived in a country that many of us are familiar with, the country of Italy. He died at a very young age, in his early 20s, Blessed Grimwald loved serving Mass. He loved learning about the faith. He loved sports, just like our athletes here today, and getting to know his friends and accepting them. He loved serving his community. And he loved those things so much that he has decided at a young age of maybe in his mid-teens, that he wanted to be a monk, a person that lives in a special place dedicated to prayer and service of others, and maybe even being a priest. His mother, his mom was very supportive of this, but his father, his father had other plans. His father wanted Grimwald to become someone who sells ropes, someone who sells ropes in the marketplace, and he'd be able to make lots of money and be successful in the world as a dealer of ropes. But 
And it came to the situation where the father, Blessed Grimwald's dad, said, sell ropes for a living. And Blessed Grimwald didn't want to do that. And he said, no, I have another calling. I want to serve God. I want to know God, and I want others to know God. And so here in this beautiful statue that we have, you see him pointing up to God. That's the true thing, the most important thing. Because he wanted to share that gift of love that he had received. And there on the ground of this little statue area is the rope. The rope that his father wanted him to sell. But he knew that that wasn't his calling. This is a very special devotion for our parish because Blessed Grimwald ultimately went on to becoming a monk, a passionist father, and died at a very young age before he was able to become a priest. But he gave the example of holiness, of service, and listening to God's voice in his heart and following that generously. After Blessed Grimwald passed away at a very young age, in his early 20s, his mother moved from Italy to this country, the United States, and actually lived right here in Rochester and attended Mass right here in our own parish here at Holy Cross. For our young athletes and scholars, Blessed Grimwald is a great example for us, for you. A reminder that God has a special call for each of you and to ask God to guide you on your journey so that you will do what God wants you to do. And for all of us as members of our two parishes, Holy Cross and our Mother of Sorrows, we can always ask for Blessed Grimwald to intercede for us, to help us, so that we may not focus so much on being accepted by others trying to fit in, but to realize that gift of God's mercy comes to us because we are members of God's family. I invite you to come up, and I'm so grateful to our CYO athletes who placed the flowers here in front of the statue of Blessed Grimwald. And I will now, to conclude my homily, give you a blessing with the relic of Blessed Grimwald. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Grimwald of Santa Maria, pray for us. I invite you to stand as we profess our faith in Christ the King. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate for the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life in the world to come. As a people of faith, we now bring before our loving God our various needs. For the Church, the kingdom created by Jesus, and the people who are made priests for his God and Father, that we may offer ourselves with him as an acceptable sacrifice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples, nations, and languages, that they may come to acknowledge the dominion of Jesus Christ, whose kingship is everlasting. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may welcome Blessed Grimwald as a member of each of our families and, with his assistance, make our homes rich with Christian life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord, who has freed us from our sins by his blood, may bring all his baptized people to repentance and reconciliation in the sacrament of penance, the fountain of joy and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Riley Joyce Gillette, Isla Jane Keem, and Aubrey Lee Smith, who will be baptized into our parish family this weekend, may they grow in the love and faith of the Catholic Church, inspired by their parents and godparents. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Jesus, whose kingdom does not belong to this world, may bring all whom he has called through the gates of death into the heavenly glory where he is truly king forever, especially for Diane Staub and Aloysius Bill Lenhard Jr. We we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment and make our own private petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we know that you hear all the prayers that we, your church, bring before you. Strengthen us with your grace dwelling within us. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus for the praise and glory. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right in us. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present in the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and Matthew, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Mother of Sorrows, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Blessed Grimwald of Santa Maria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace. I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now in a safe way, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion for those watching from home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Before the final prayer after communion, I want to thank our CYO athletes for so reverently and devoutly placing the flowers here in front of our statue of Blessed Grimwald and congratulate them on a a wonderful season. Wish them all the best and let them know how proud we are of them for continually growing in the faith. And so uh, I invite all of the athletes to please stand for a recognition of them. Yeah. invite you to be seated, and I also want to thank all of the adults, all of the coaches, and the entire leadership team of the CYO program for their selfless example of service in, in mentoring our, our young people. Thank you very, very much. I also, I also want to greet the members of our Knight of Columbus Council here at Holy Cross, the Blessed Grimwald Council. I thank them for their collaboration uh, with me on the many initiatives that we have worked on, and they are, some of them are here, uh, so I thank them for their wonderful example and wish them a happy feast day. And how about our musicians? Don't they always do such a great job? Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to look at our bulletin here, page two. Page two, upper left-hand corner, and the prayer to St. Grimwald, uh, Blessed Grimwald, together. O oh God, oh God, you, you constantly, constantly present your, your church, church new models, models of Christian life. life. Help, Help us to imitate the tender, tender devotion to Mary, to Mary Immaculate and the selfless love of neighbor at this grim wall for the purification so that we too may be fragrance of Christ on earth and inherit the eternal rewards of heaven. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Join us for the Thanksgiving Mass this coming Thursday, 9 o'clock here at Holy Cross. So I invite you to come and join us for that. And if I don't see you, I wish you all a very blessed and peaceful Thanksgiving. Thank you. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, with your and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go out to love and serve the Lord by serving one another. Thanks be to God.